Trinity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord was addressed to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you came to birth, I consecrated you. I have appointed you as prophet to the nations. I said, Ah, Lord, look, I do not know how to speak. I am a child. But the Lord replied, Do not say, I am a child. Go now to those to whom I send you and say, Whatever I command you, do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to protect you. It is the Lord who speaks. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, There, I am putting my words into your mouth. This is the word of the Lord. Our response is, Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Oh, praise the Lord, all your nations. Acclaim him, all your peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly to the Jews. We had to proclaim the word of God to you first. But since you have rejected it, since you do not think yourselves worthy of eternal life, we must turn to the pagans. For this is what the Lord commanded us to do when he said, I have made you a light for the nations, so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. It made the pagans very happy to hear this, and they thanked the Lord for his message. All who were destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the whole countryside. This is the word of God of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord sent me to bring good news to the poor and freedom to prisoners. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a house where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not make you welcome, go out into its streets and say, we wipe off the very dust of your town that clings to our feet and leave it with you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is very near. I tell you, on that day, it will not go as hard with Sodom as with that town. The 72 came back rejoicing 
Lord, they said, even the devils submit to us when we use your name. He said to them, I watched Satan fall into like lightning from heaven. Yes, I have given you power to thread underfoot serpents and scorpions and the whole strength of the enemy. Nothing shall ever hurt you. Yet, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. Rejoice rather that your names are written in heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. When St. Patrick was in Ireland as a young boy, 16 years of age, he passed long nights in prayer. That was before he understood his mission to be a missionary to the Irish people. 16 years of age, alone, looking after pigs, cattle, spending the whole night in prayer. And the church today puts the following words on the lips of St. Patrick. Our Lord, look, I do not know how to speak. I am a child. So St. Patrick felt like a child. He felt incompetent, incapable. But God would make him capable of being the apostle to the people of Ireland. Here in Fatima, God chose a young boy called Francisco. Francesco. He also felt incompetent. When we visited his house out in Ajustrel, we were shown the little trap door where Francesco would go up into the attic to pray and get away from the people. The people came with their curious questions, but Francesco did not want to respond. He felt incapable of talking to the people. But Jacinta would call him and say, come down, make this sacrifice. And Francesco would speak to the people. Today, in a very hedonistic, secular world, we all feel, feel like Jeremiah, Francesco, and St. Patrick. We are not competent. We are not capable. But God will once again give us the strength to preach the gospel to all. So we pray through the intercession of St. Jeremiah, the Blessed Francesco, and St. Patrick, that we will have the strength to preach the gospel to all creatures. Uma pequena palavra na língua portuguesa. Podemos fazer uma certa comparação entre o profeta Jeremias, São Patricio, cuja festa celebramos hoje, e o bem-amadorado Francesco. Todos sentirem a própria incompetência, a própria incapacidade de falar com os outros sobre o mistério de Deus. Mas Deus lhes deu a capacidade, o poder de proclamar a palavra. Então hoje vamos pedir a intercessão do profeta Jeremias, do bem honrado Francesco e também de São Patrício, para que tenhamos a força, a capacidade de proclamar a palavra de Deus opportuna e importunamente. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, is consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. Use your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast of the blessed Patrick, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of St. Patrick you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her body of angels and saints. We sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, 
he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and a drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith we proclaim your death O lord and profess your resurrection until you come again holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ May he make up to us an everlasting sinner's offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance through your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Patrick and all the saints, and his constant intercession in your presence with a life for unfailing health. <coughs> May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, in the power. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the, tr in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Patrick never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.